On our second day in Durham, we were on our own. So we slept in at the Arrowhead Inn and then drove 15 minutes into downtown Durham. While we were in town the day before, we discovered Foster Street Coffee and they have, hands down, the best coffee in town. So we stopped in to grab an iced latte, or I guess I grabbed an iced latte. <laughs> After being sufficiently caffeinated, we drove about seven minutes to the Duke University campus. Vita from Discover Durham added a self-guided driving tour of the campus to our itinerary. We were actually there on freshman move-in day, which was pretty cool. Since there's nothing revolutionary to look at here, we thought we'd share some quick facts about Duke. Duke has almost 16,000 students. About 7,000 are undergrads and 9,000 are graduate and professional students. The top five majors for the class of 2023 are computer science, economics, public policy, biology, and psychology. The top five home states are North Carolina, California, New York, Florida, and New Jersey. Also for the class of 2023, the top five home countries besides the US are China, India, Korea, the UK, and Canada. I'm trying to pay attention what I'm doing. <laughs> no, I'm not. 52% of undergrads are women, 97% of students return after their first year, and 95% graduate in four years. This one's kind of crazy, but out of almost 42,000 applicants, only 1,730 students were enrolled. The total acreage of the school is 8,693, with 256 buildings across campus. 76 of those buildings are for the medical center alone. If you've heard of Duke, then you've probably heard of their Duke School of Medicine, which is one of the biggest things they're known for. They have one of the top medical research programs in the country. According to US News, they come in at number 12, just below Cornell and above Yale. After our self-guided tour of Duke, it was time for lunch at Picnic. Because of our frenemy Corona, only their outdoor seating was open, but that was A-OK -okay with us. We started with an order of their pimento cheese with fried saltines. Johnny B is the pimento cheese fan and she really liked it, but I was all about those fried saltines. Johnny B went for the whole hog barbecue sandwich, which is kind of like a pulled pork sammy. She went for the fries, which had that classic hand cut look. I had the chopped brisket sandwich and it was amazing. It had the brisket with pickles and shaved red onion. I enjoyed some fried okra with mine. For us, picnic was an easy 10 out of 10. After lunch, we took a drive through Eno River State Park. If you wanted to really get out and explore the natural areas around Durham, this is a great spot. They have five access areas around Durham and you'll find beautiful viewing areas for the river and forest. They have almost 30 miles of trails and several individual and group campsites. You can even canoe and kayak depending on the water depth. After the drive through Eno River and some more driving downtown, it was time for dinner at Luna's Rotisserie and Empanadas. We had heard nothing but incredible things about Luna's, but after looking at the menu, we were a little worried. Everything was very different than what we'd normally eat. But you know us, we're always up to try something new. Their whole concept is South American meets American South, which we thought was really cool. And since we didn't know where to start, we put our meal in the hands of the manager. We had two appetizers. First was the palomitas, which is fresh popcorn with herbs, spices, and lime zest. This was so good kind of different to have popcorn as an appetizer, but really, really delicious. Then we got something unique, something I didn't think I would like at all. It's the Camote Chimichurri, a chipotle roasted sweet potato, black beans, avocado, sweet corn, and a chimichurri sauce. To my complete and utter surprise, it was so flipping good. For our main entrees, I chickened out and ordered for myself. I got two empanadas, one with black and pulled chicken, Yukon gold potatoes, and roasted peppers. The other with pork carnitas, caramelized onions, hominy, and collards, all with a side of black beans and rice. As expected, it was amazing. Joni B, like the spontaneous adventurous person she is, let the manager pick her meal. So she had the faticon pasal. It's meat, jet cheese, jicama kale slaw, and chili lime mayo between two plantain discs. Y'all, it was actually so good. I even took a bite. Desserts at Luna can change on the daily, so we went for the s'mores empanada and a tropical take on a key lime pie. Luna's is 1 million percent proof that we should always be trying new things. If it hadn't been for Vita and Discover Durham, we probably never would have even come here and would have missed out on some seriously delicious food. 
And just like that, day two in Durham slipped through our fingers. If you missed our road trip to Durham and our first day in the city, make sure to check those out too. We had an incredible time, so thank you Discover Durham for sponsoring this trip. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. It doesn't cost you nothing to hit that button, y'all.